today's video, I'm gonna be rebuilding Barcelona, but it's FIFA 16. Whoa. Back when Barcelona were by far the best team in the world. I mean, just look at this attack. Neymar, Luis Suarez, and Leo Messi. It, it doesn't get any better than this. This, I think, is the best front three of all time. No cap on that one. And then you've got an Andres Iniesta in midfield, Mascherano as well, Dani Alves, who was quite close to his prime. Unbelievable Barca first 11, man, honestly. Kind of want to see the other clubs as well back then. What about Real Madrid? How were they? Look at Benzema, only 86. You could argue he now deserves to be the highest rated player in FIFA. A 93 rated Ronaldo at Madrid. A Bale, who's actually super high rated. James Rodriguez, what happened to him? I don't know, he left Madrid, joined Everton and everything, and then he's just fallen off the cliff. Luka Modric, 87, Pepe 84. How does Navas have only a 79 overall? But to be honest, the core of Madrid's team has stayed the same. I do want to see the likes of Arsenal back then, because Arsenal were a lot better. I mean, now they are on the uptrend, but they had an 87 Ozil and Alexis Sanchez back then. Koscielny, Petacek, they were good back then. Oh, Mikel Arteta was a player for them back then. Remember, Mikel Arteta is now their coach. Ooh, what about Chelsea back then? Diego Costa, Eden Hazard at Chelsea back by the way, Andreal Fabregas in his prime. They had Radimil Falcao, Oscar. Wow. wow. Now, of course, I'm sure there's one team you guys want me to take a look at, and it's Manchester United. Memphis Depay had signed for them that season. They had Wayne Rooney still playing for them. Morgan Schneider, who they signed from, I think, Southampton. But the back line is as tragic as ever. Crazy how all these players are probably still contracted to Man United. Bastian Schweinsteiger on the bench. Of course, the goat himself, Maran Fellaini. I don't know why De Gea is in the reserves. If this kid is 48 rated. That might be the lowest Man United player ever. Yes! Definitely. Back when Man City had their old logo and they had players like Yaya Torre in there, Joe Hart, Aguero, David Silva, all those players are not part of City anymore. PSG were also decent back then. Thiago Silva, Zlatan and all. Oh, and Bayern still had a lot of their core players like Robin. Wow. All right, here we go. Career mode on FIFA 16. Our objective is to win the Champions League with Barcelona. Let's take the money boost, because why not? Yep, we're going to be managing Barcelona. We'll be having a budget of 7 72 million plus whatever extra we get. Not bad. The menu's on FIFA 16. Pretty meh, you could say. We'll keep the difficulty on world class because it's been six, seven years since I've played this game, so you know. Oh yeah, these, the Champions League. I, I do appreciate the Champions League graphics in FIFA 22 now a lot more because this was tragic. Anyways, the Camp Nou though was of course on FIFA 16, so there you go. It's just a memory. Okay, even the news section was so like uh, average on FIFA 16. I hate this guy. The preseason tournament invite has literally been the same. You literally get the same message every single year on FIFA. Hopefully we get a change to it. Maybe something different. I literally just decline it always. Okay, we start off our Barca save with Andres Iniesta having an injury. What? Andres Iniesta is injured and we haven't even started this. No, oh, this is the old squad report. Remember how good this looked? Andres Iniesta has got a broken tailbone. Well, that's a good start. He should be back for the start of the season. But man, did that that Barca team look brilliant. I'm really excited to make some signings and improve this team even further. Oh my god, Messi in his prime, 94 rated, the highest rated player on the game that year. Insane. And then you've got Luis Suarez and Neymar, who's pretty incredible as well. The bench was a bit meh, but honestly, I think I'm just going to sign a few players and improve this team. And I reckon in one season itself, we could win the Champions League. There was a dedicated menu for contracts back then. I think it made a lot more sense because it's a lot easier to look at. You could request a board for more funds, honestly. Why is this not there in FIFA 22? I just don't know. It's such a cool feature, especially if you're a smaller club. You could say, okay, I'll try and win the title. Give me more money. Like, you can't do that anymore. I want to see Kylian Mbappe on FIFA, FIFA 16. Was he even in the game? No, he wasn't. Kylian Mbappe wasn't even on the game back then. Wow. Erling Haaland, what about him? He was not on the game as well. And we definitely know Pedri, Gavi, all these players weren't on FIFA 22. <laughs> 22, I meant FIFA 16. What about Alfonso Davies? That's going to be an interesting one. There's a slight chance he might be in the game. I don't think so. I don't think so. A lot of the stars we see now weren't even on the game back then. I just want to have a bit of fun, so I'm going to make some fun transfers. And for me, signing Wayne Rooney to Barcelona, even though I've got no idea where I'll play him, is, is all about fun. You can actually inquire about players. Let's actually do that and see what they say about Rooney. One thing's for sure, we do need a centre-back. So apart from Rooney, I'm thinking, let's sign 
signed Vincent Company at Barcelona. Why not? Absolutely why not? A leader. Let's see what the clubs come back and say. Let's sign a player from Man United and Man City here at Barca. Would you look at that? The scout we've sent to Germany recommends us the likes of Aubameyang. Well, he, he's seen the future, of course. Iron Robin as well. But we've got Messi. Why do we need Robin? No idea where I'll play him. But anyways, Vincent Company is going to cost us near 48.5 million. Surely we can get him for a little bit cheaper than that. Let, let's try 40 million for Company and just see what Man City come back and say. And for the main man himself, Wayne Rooney, they want 74 million. Yikes. Okay, we're going to reduce this down to say 52 just to see what Man United say and how the transfers work. I love these transfer screens, but I, I, I do prefer the cutscenes that we've got currently. Currently. Okay, why is our scout from England recommending us Danny Ings? We've got Suarez, man. Come on. Okay, so they do want 74 million for, for Wayne Rooney. So we're not getting away with that. Let's offer 62 and see what they say. Yep, same thing with company. 40 million wasn't working. Yo, I think when, when they inquire and they give you a number, you got to put an offer very close to that number. Otherwise, they're just going to like kick you out of the room. Yep, same thing now for Wayne Rooney. We're going to have to up our offer and just give them the 74. Like, honestly, well, take it. I just want to sign Rooney and company. And I think I'm done with the window. So fair enough. Okay, so 46 million, it's been accepted by by uh, Man City for company. So that's brilliant. These are how contract negotiations work. We'll give him the 230 he wants. Crucial first team player. And I reckon he should accept this. And Vincent Company at Barcelona. Oh, we get an offer for Rakitic. He's one of the best midfielders on this year's game. But if I can sell him for like 45 million, maybe we can sign a Paul Pogba or something. I wouldn't mind that at all. Let's see. Not selling Jordi Alba though. He was unreal back on this game. I do know that. And look at that. Finally, we can now sign Wayne Rooney. This is kind of a win of a signing because to be honest not going to use him with Suarez but well I just want to sign Wayne Rooney because why not you know why not oh man Arsenal are willing to pay 40 million for Rakitic you know what take the money I'm not a big fan of Rakitic anyways we'll keep the 40 million for him and go ahead and sign another midfielder also company contract offer accepted that's our first signing back on FIFA 16 Vincent company has just signed for us let's put him in the squad ahead of Mr. Mascherano they ask you how you are you just have to say that you're Fine. West Company. There you go. I like that. I do like that. I'm not gonna lie. Company in a Barca shirt looks nice. How good was Company back then? 85 rated. Speed-wise, a bit meh, but look at that stand tackle, slide tackle, marking. Offensively, bit of a beast. So, guys, racket has just been sold. We'll be getting 35 million added into our bank. And meanwhile, we're gonna complete the signing of Wayne Rooney. We'll be left with a good chunk of money to still go ahead and sign Paul Pogba or someone. Hopefully, we can sign him. Maybe someone else. We'll see who we need to sign. But there you go go. Wayne Rooney has been signed right now. The crazy thing is, he's only gonna get onto our bench. Like, honestly, that's a bit mental. That's the craziest thing ever. Talk about signing a midfield and I'm pretty sure Gerard was still in the game playing at LA Galaxy. But he was 84 rated. That's honestly insane. Can't sign him though because he's retiring and he just signed from Liverpool for 13 and a half million. Yo, I don't think we can sign Pogba. I really don't think we've got the money. 22 year old? Nah, it's, it's virtually impossible. Like, we're gonna have to spend way too much money for Pogba. I don't think we're signing him. What about someone like Cesc Fabregas bringing him back to Barcelona? I don't mind that. I really don't. Seems like a solid idea. How much is he gonna cost? Um, let's go in with an offer 54 million and just see what Chelsea say. One player I don't think I'm signing is certainly Felipe Coutinho. I think we all know how that went down. It's 84 rated though. Back on FIFA 16. They want 83 million for Fabregas. We can't afford that. We literally can't. Let me see if I can sell a few players. Like, do we really need Thomas Vermeulen? transfer listing him. Like, do we need Alex Vidal? I don't think so. Oh, we can't sell him. What a waste. Oh, Alexander Song. Why is he still at Barcelona? Transfer listing him as well. What if I sign Messi's worst nightmare, Mario Goza? Unreal. If I pull this off, it'll be hilarious. So I'm gonna do it. Let's see if it's even possible. 45 million for him. Fabregas is gonna be too expensive. So Mario Goza, he was OP back then at Bayern, you know? So would be a fun signing if we can pull this off. Another player I'd be keen on signing would be, let's say, Yaya Toro because why not? That'd be so much fun. Let's see. Yaya Torre, if we can sign him up, he'll be cheap as well. That's that's the best part. If we can get him for like 30 million, I might just choose him. Okay, so Fabregas, 83 million. I can't pay that. Yaya Torre, 44. I think I can pay that. So let's just do it. Let's just sign Yaya Torre and wrap things up. Yeah, Mario Goetz, 67 and a half. We're not doing that. It's going to be Yaya Torre who we sign. I get an offer for Alexander Song. We'll sell him to Man City for seven and a half million. Why not? Oh my God. Bayern 
want Luis Suarez. Why? Like, you've got Lewandowski already. And PSG want Neymar. Oh my god. Yep, they know what they're doing. We're gonna reject this. But of course, next year in, well, FIFA 17, I think Neymar does make the move. Although we can now sign Yaya Torre. Let's give him uh, the contract he deserves. 230,000. Hopefully two years he'll accept that. And uh, yeah, let's offer him this and get this done with. And there you go. We can now sign Yaya Torre and we'll be left with 25 million. That's fine. I don't want to make any more signings. I think I'm done. We've signed Yaya Torre. Take a look at this. Barcelona win the race for him. Things you do love to see. He's 85 rated. Love it. Absolutely love it. All right, let's now assemble the squad and see what it's going to look like. Yaya Torre in there. We'll put Maschi on uh, the bench. Uh, we can also maybe put in... Do we have a backup fullback, really? We, 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 we don't. We don't really have a backup fullback. We can put Arda Turan on the bench. We can put probably Adriano on the bench too. Actually, this is what we'll do. Yep, that's going to be the bench we've got. That's going to be the first team. Company, Yaya Torre in there as well. Wayne Rooney on the bench. Let's do this, boys. That's going to be the team we rock this season. I reckon one season's enough to win the Champions League. This Barca team is that good. Oh, we've got a chance to win the Spanish Super Cup. It was different back then, this competition. It's going to be a two-legged game against Bilbao. I reckon we have enough uh, to win this. 4-1 in the first leg. Luis Suarez hat-trick. We've won it already. The second leg should be an easy run out. We beat them 4-1 like honestly <laughs> lost to one yep the, these were the years in fifa where away games you'd probably lose no matter how good your team was we still win the cup though so in the champions league in the group stages we've done well you know finishing top of our group 15 points i want to see how the other groups have done chelsea roma top Bayern atletico a lot of the groups seem similar in real life madrid out of the champions league oh my god wow man united and benfica through psg and porto through leon zenit through city lazio and then of course it's us who we're gonna face in the round of 16. Okay, it's Zenit. This should be easy. There we go, boys. First leg against Zenit. This should be an easy game, an easy win. But of course, because it's away from home, you just never know. Not, never mind. Messi, Busquets, and Neymar see us through. I just simmed through the second leg and look at that. It's 8-0 on aggregate. We destroyed Zenit. Now we're up against Bayern. This is going to be interesting. I don't remember how player growth worked back then. Are we seeing any growth? Oh, look at Messi up to a 95. Neymar's gone up. Iniesta up by a couple. Companies in that's, that's just, yeah, it just always happens. Rooney up to an 88 is a bit mad. I think to grow your players, it was the old system of training where you ch chuck in a player like, say, Munir El Haddadi and put him on, like, yeah, these kind of plans. Then you just simulate the drill. I think that's how they worked. And you just get a random grade on them, like we got an A. And that's how player growth worked back then. There was no, like, dynamic potential and all that, you know? Uh, none of that was in the game. All right, let's see if we can knock out Bayern Munich from the Champions League first leg away from home. Messi, Suarez, and Neymar are giving me hope, and they have come through. Even with a red card, we've beaten Bayern in the first leg. Second leg against Bayern. I'm confident now. We won 2-1 against them. We should go through, and plus Robbins just picked up a knock. It should make things easy. Wasn't easy, but it's enough to go through. Let's go. Oh, it's Manchester City next in the Champions League for us. Company and Yaya Torre playing against their former club. Have Man City made any good investments? Let's look at their team. How have they replaced Company and Torre? They haven't. They've got Otamendi and Mangala. Or Mangala, however you say his name. They've got Sami Nasri. Okay, they've just scored. We get the equalizer, so it's at least a draw. Yaya Torre just scored against this former club. We need to beat Man City away from home, and I'm not too sure if we can do that. Let's see what happens here. We managed to beat the Messi, Busquets, and Alves scoring. Jordi Alba red card isn't good, but that's fine. Neymar injured is not fine, but we're through, of course, because of that, to the semifinals, I think. Oh, my bad. That was the semi-finals. No way. We could be up against Arsenal in the Champions League final. Like, what? Nope. Uh, normality has uh, been restored. Chelsea beat Arsenal over two legs, and we're going to be facing Chelsea in the Champions League final. In other news, we do end up winning the Spanish Cup 3-0. The Super Cup, of course, we managed to win that as well. La Liga, though. Real Madrid win by a couple of points. That is such an L. Fair enough. Fair enough, Madrid. But ultimately, we'll be winning that Champions League, hopefully. Look at Diego Costa. Top scorer for Chelsea in the Champions League. Messi's up there with seven as well. Assist-wise, Messi top assist a good season. Oh, Benzema with 23. Rooney, 22. Where's Messi in the Champions League for us? Nowhere to be found. Okay, I want to see the stats of Leo. Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Ooh, look at Andres Iniesta. What a season. Neymar, what a season. Messi didn't play that many games, man. I don't know why. Um, Luis Suarez did well. Where, where's Wayne Rooney? Wayne Rooney had a terrific season. My God. Anyways, let's play this Champions League 
League final against Chelsea, win it and wrap up the fixing challenge. We're going to wear our home kits. Is that a kit clash here? Yeah? It is a bit of a kit clash. So I guess we'll then wear our yellow kits because why not? Actually, no, nah, I want a thumbnail picture. So we're going to have to put Chelsea on the away kits. Uh, I think I'll start with this team. Maybe I'll bring on Wayne Rooney at some point. We'll start with Yaya Torre and company and all. Don't even remember what was the meta back then. Let's do this. Okay, the graphics back then were a bit meh. I'm not going to lie. They, they certainly were a bit meh. There's been a big improvement recently, you could say. All right, let's do this, boys. Champions League final. Okay, the gameplay was fast back then. Like, what even? Okay, I'm here doing some skills with Adriano because Jordi Alba's not fit. No. Anyways, Luis Suarez gets on it. I'm going to see if I can find Danny Alves. Please, Alves, do something decent. I'm going to find Messi. Still Messi. Calling effort from Leo Messi. Decent. Wow. Okay, got taken out as well. Don't... Oh, my God. Yaya Torre goes for this first challenge in the game and gets injured. Like, that's just... Oh, my God. What are we doing? We just need to play this out from here. By the way, unlike other fixing challenges, it's not going to be the kind of rebuild where we play until we win the Champions League. We've got one shot at this. If I lose this game, we're ending the video without the Champions League. So you guys know what's at stake here. we got to win this. I can't get the ball off William right now. What is happening here? Somehow we avoid conceding there. And I see Messi down that side. Go on, Leo. Okay, Messi, I'm just going to tap the ball with Leo. How is he not quicker than, of course, the defender there? Okay, he is. He is. Going to go for that cross in. Neymar. That was interesting. Ooh, the old system of corners. Who remembers that, guys? Oh, we find Busquets. Back for Dani Alves. Oh, my God, what a chance. It wasn't even Dani Alves. It was Luis Suarez. And you'd bank all your money on him scoring like that. Oh, how do you even keep possession in this game, man? Honestly, I have no idea. We're defending. Well, he's offside. Surely he's offside. No, it's off the post. No, we've conceded Chelsea 1-0. I'm so bad at this game, man. I really am. Nemanja Matic scoring. I just don't know what's the meta. I don't know how to score. This is a problem. Oh, look at this pressure. I'm glad we didn't play on legendary, guys. I'd be smoked. Oh, I just don't know how to get the ball off my opponents, man. It, it, it's so difficult. Maybe I got to press with other players. Oh, my God. It's 2-0. It's 2-0. Is that offside? I think it's offside. Nobody's celebrating. It is offside. Diego Costa muttered. The problem is I just don't know how to keep possession in this game. And I don't even know how to get the ball off my opponents. Like, it's... It's a colossal struggle for me right now. The AI was good back then, or maybe I'm just bad. I can't get my tackles in, and look at my players just rolling over everywhere. Okay, that was my first proper dribble of the game. The Berber spin was OP back then. I need to use that more, but why such heavy touches? And Andres Iniesta, you're the best midfielder in the world. What are you doing? This is actually getting sad now. I can't get the ball off Chelsea. The saddest fixing final, or whatever you could call this one. I just... This is painful. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. Okay, let's see what Messi can do. Finesse shot. That was my best chance of the game, I kid you not. FIFA 16 was actually built on a previous engine compared to FIFA 17 and all. And that's why the gameplay mechanics, everything's so freaking different that I'm struggling so much. Okay, we're sending Messi down the line. Oh, it's Luis Suarez down the line. And the worst cross I think mankind's ever seen. Inside for Iniesta, though. Messi, no! How are the defenders reading everything? This this might be the worst gameplay experience I have ever endured in any FIFA. Like, this is genuinely sad. The, the second you get the ball, you get pressed and the ball gets taken off you. What, what are you supposed to do on this game? This, this is the worst FIFA thing I've ever played. Yeah, just take me out. Just take me out with all your tackles and everything, boys. Just, oh, this, I'm glad it's over. I know we failed to rebuild Barcelona. We failed this challenge. But still, I don't want to play this game anymore. This is shocking. I'm done. I'm absolutely done with this. FIFA 16, awful. I'm not getting back on this game. Although it was nice seeing Andres Iniesta. But anyways, that's it for the video. Drop a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe for new round here. I, might, I just dropped my controller. Anyways, subscribe. It's chaos all round. Catch you all for the next one. Peace.